Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about... The Rock is now trying to take over Disney animation. Like I said, he would, just like he tried to with like the um, Warner Brothers in DC. So he slowly, slowly is starting to work his magic along with his ex-wife. That still doesn't make any sense to me that him and his ex-wife are broken up, but yet they're still business partners. That don't make any kind of sense unless they're trying to make so much money that their kids can survive on. Then that makes sense. Anyways, if you recall, <laughs> back in the DC um, Warner Brothers and DCEU, he tried to literally take it over. The hierarchy of power is about to like shift or some crap like that, right? And so like he tried to take it over with the character of Black Adam, a character most people just don't really know who that is. And so like he starred in the live action version of Black Adam, a villain movie, like the dude, but he made him an anti-hero. And he so badly wanted him to face off against Superman and everything. Even though Superman supposed to be the main person in DC. Anyways, but that wasn't just it. He also voiced um the dog of Black Adam in this one animated DC movie with uh i think it was like crypto or something like that but that's not only it he also voiced superman's doll crypto and so he was banking on like literally making black adam the face of dc a villain and he wanted them to go up he already had them go against the justice society wanted them to go up against the justice league wanted him to go up against superman he was literally trying to reshape everything in his image and of course, when he acted like Black Adam, he just acted like himself. Well, now he set his sights on DC. See, when Black Adam bombed big time, he congratulated the second Black Panther movie. Now, the second Black Panther movie is not good at all like the first one. And so, like, that made people think, uh-oh, he's trying to shift gears over here. Because he now just distanced himself completely from DC. And now that James Gunn and Peter Saffron has taken over, remember, it took him a long time to congratulate them and stuff. So anyways, it's just now been reported. Him and his wife and their company, Seven Bucks, have now partnered with Disney Animation to make multiple Disney animated movies. And you know what that means. Most likely, he's going to star in them all. Probably. Or he'll probably try to get some of his family members to star in them. But most likely, he's going to star in them. And since he's going to produce it, he's going to get a fat check. If he produces and he um stars in it he'll get an even bigger fat check along with that of his wife now why do i say he could potentially take it over multiple deals multiple movies multiple animated movies and at some point you know they're gonna want to make a live action movie based off it why because of the disney animated movie he co-starred in called moana that came out a few years ago, not even that long ago. They're making, they made the second one. It was supposed to be like a TV show, then they made it into a movie. I don't know what the deal is now, but it's coming out very soon. But The Rock has decided, hey, let me make a live action Moana movie. And he announced it online for everybody to see. And people thought like, dude, the animated movie came out less than like five years ago. It's too soon for a live action movie. But he persisted, and now the cast has been casted for the movie. Or the characters have been cast in there, I think. So, he literally, I believe it was him who probably pitched the idea of a live action Moana movie. Because nobody was thinking about that. And since he's, and if that's true, if he pitched the idea of a Moana, like, um live action movie you know as well as i do all those multiple animated movies he's gonna pitch a live action movie as well the man literally is trying to just take over all of hollywood and everything 
And I'm just kind of like, what if this live action Moana movie don't do well? What are they going to do then? Like, because now they're going to be stuck with this dude. And you know he's going to inch his way closer and closer. Because at some point in time, Bob Iger's contract's going to be up. And you know he's going to want to take over. And since his production company is now going to partner with Disney, they could try to squeeze their way in and take it over and stuff. Or they could have, like, the new Pixar, like, Disney type deal. Ah. <sighs> Ugh. He's too overexposed. He's pissing too many people off with a lot of the crap he's doing and saying. And let's not forget about pissing in the bottle. <laughs> and I mean, people are just really getting kind of tired of him right now. I mean, he just got injured from the live action Moana movie. He really screwed his elbow up like bad. And it's just kind of like, whatever these movies he's going to be in when they get to like a live action thing, he's going to be too old in everything. But he is literally, like, like I'm telling you, first it's DC, then it's like Disney, and then it's going to be the presidency. Watch. Because he already tried the whole Little Rock show on NBC, and he's had a couple other TV shows. He's had some streaming shows. The man is literally just trying to take over the entire world, I think. And he so badly wants to be president. Watch. He will put his bid in in the next couple of years, I bet you anything. And he has no experience whatsoever in running a country. He needs to seriously just chill. I mean, that's why so much good stuff is now happening to his family even more in wrestling because he has a deal some stock in the whole tko thing with the ufc and wwe i mean that's why his daughter is still there and his daughter is like no disrespect to her but like i said before she can't wrestle she can't that's why she stopped because she's probably still training because her debut wasn't that great her mic skills are not good. She has no personality whatsoever when she is on the mic. Because now she's the GM. She's the youngest GM ever. Just like he was the youngest WWE champion ever. And so she's following his footsteps. But the thing with her is she has no personality when she is on the mic. She just says her stuff and that's it. There's no gimmick. There's no personality. It's like watching paint dry. And normally at this stage, if Vince was still there, she would have been gone. But because The Rock has his finger in the WWE, oh, she's going to stay for a good while and everything. I mean, if she makes it, that's great and everything. Because I have no ill will towards her. But right now, she's not cutting the mustard, man. It's like, it's so boring watching her as the general manager and everything. And it's just like, I'm telling you, the dude is literally taking over everything. Now he set his sights on Disney. Alrighty, well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.